the Vatican revealed today a key document to guide the next stage of discussions in the Synod on Synodality. The working document for the Continental Phase summarizes reports shared with the Vatican by bishops' conferences, religious congregations, and other groups. It will be central during the time of listening, dialogue, and discernment in the next step starting in January. Hannah Brockhouse, senior Rome correspondent for Catholic News Agency, joins us now. Hannah, great to see you. Uh, can you explain to us what the continental phase of the Synod is? Right. Well, so the continental phase is the phase that the Synod is heading into now. We just completed about a year of the local or diocesan phase when the local churches were listening to the people um, living there. And now we're heading into the continental phase, which will include between January and March 2023 different continental assemblies. So gatherings on the different continents, again, with bishops, priests, religious, and of course, lay people. They want young people to be included in these, to meet again and to discuss again um, these issues of synodality and uh, whatever people have on their mind related to the Catholic Church and its future. Um, the result of these Continental assemblies will be short reports um, that will then uh, be fewer than 20 pages. And then those reports will go into the creation of another very important document called the Instrumentum Laboris. And that will happen in the summer of 2023. And that document will guide the first assembly with all of the bishops, which will be in Rome in October 2023. Today, presenters of the document called the working document that came out today uh, emphasize that this is not an instrumental laboris, um, but it is an intermediary document meant to aid this next stage, the Continental Assemblies. And Hannah, can you talk to us about how this document was created? Yes. So um, going back to that diocesan uh, phase of the synod, the different bishops conferences of 112 countries around the world, along with other religious groups, um, other Catholics, whether individuals or from Catholic movements, uh, submitted reports to the leadership of the synod of bishops and the people who are organizing the synod on synodality. And those people, together with um, some other people chosen by them, around 30 people from around the world, gathered um, at the end of September in a city outside of Rome to work on reading all of those reports. Presenters said today that they read very, very closely and they read every single one of the reports that were submitted to them that were kind of these syntheses. Um, they called them of the diocesan phase of the synod. And then they worked to put those together into a single document. And uh, uh, Professor Anna Rowlands, one of the participants in this process, she said that they tried very hard to honestly represent what was said, you know, not commenting on it, but just representing what was said by people in those reports and to quote some of the of the things, um, and, but also not to rank or to put a hierarchy on the different issues, uh, just to present them, though they did take into consideration when things were coming from a conference in a country where maybe there's a large Catholic population versus countries that have a small Catholic church or even a persecuted Catholic church. Hannah, as far as the content of the working document itself, what were some of the specific themes they raised? Well, one of the overarching themes of the document was this idea of an open church, of um, extending, they use this metaphor of a tent, uh, taking it from an Old Testament image uh, in, from the Bible. So they were using this idea of the tent and extending the tent to be open and welcoming to everyone. And uh, they also, in that context, spoke about different groups that presented that they maybe don't always feel welcome in the church, uh, whether that might be people who are divorced and remarried or people who identify as part of um, LGBTQ community. And uh, they discussed that as well in the document. It talked about um, some issues that presented that were kind of divisive. Maybe different reports had even different conclusions or spoke differently about those issues. So one of those was the role of women in the church. And there was a large emphasis on the role of women in the church and also how the church can do better to support uh, women in society overall, but also this idea of wanting or not wanting a female diaconate or 
um, of wanting uh, priestly ordination of women, for example, that was also an issue which the document identified as having a lot of differing opinions about. Uh, Hannah, thank you so much for that report today. Hannah Brockhouse, senior Rome correspondent for Catholic News Agency. Thank you again.